And today we're going to be looking at the thermal decomposition of group 2 carbonates. And through this experiment you should be able to compare the thermal stability of the group 2 carbonates and you should also be able to identify the product that's produced after decomposition. You get the equipment, I'll send the messages. Hmm. On second thoughts, you type. A delivery tube, a Bunsen burner, boiling tubes and a boiling tube holder, some test tubes in a test tube holder, our torch stand boss and clump, a spatula, a stopwatch, and finally a mass balance. Now you guys will be using four group two metal carbonates. These are magnesium carbonate, barium carbonate, calcium carbonate, and strontium carbonate. Now all these are relatively safe, except for barium carbonate, which can be toxic, so you've got to be a bit careful when you're using that. As with most chemistry practicals, guys, we'll also be using safety goggles just to prevent any possible injury to your eyes. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses on, would you? Huh? And the final point of safety is that we must remember to avoid suck back when we're removing our delivery tube from the lime water solution. Okay, to begin guys, you want to weigh an empty delivery tube using your mass balance. You then want to add one centimeter of your chosen metal carbonate to the bottom of the tube. Re-weigh using the balance and make a note of this weight. Now, obviously you guys will be using the four previously mentioned carbonates, but for the sake of this demonstration, I will only be using magnesium carbonate. Then when you've got your one centimeter of your chosen carbonate, you want to set up your apparatus like so. Place your delivery tube into your clamp and attach the delivery tube. Now this delivery tube flows into a test tube which is full of lime water. And now you're ready to begin the experiment. Now what you're going to do is you're going to light the Bunsen and using the hottest flame which as you know is the blue flame you're going to heat your carbonate you're going to start your timer and you're going to see how long it takes for your lime water to turn milky. Now as you should know, when your lime water turns milky, that shows the presence of carbon dioxide. So when the timer's reached five minutes, guys, you want to stop your experiment. Now remember, you want to remove the delivery tube from your lime water and then remove the heat from your metal carbonate to prevent any suck back in the delivery tube. Yeah, Mo, that team sure did suck last night. They just plain sucked. I've seen teams suck before, but they were the suckiest bunch of sucks that ever sucked. So you're then going to turn your Bunsen off, and you're going to allow your apparatus to cool. Now as you can see here, clearly the test tube, the lime water has gone cloudy. That demonstrates to us that CO2 was produced. Having been given time to cool, we can now remove the delivery tube from the boiling tube, remove the boiling tube from the clamp, and using our mass balance once again, we can weigh this delivery tube with the product of thermal decomposition inside. Now this resultant weight is very important as it will allow us to calculate the loss of mass of the metal carbonate through thermal decomposition. Given that the chemical structure of magnesium carbonate and the cloudiness or discoloration of our lime water can tell us that we've produced CO2, we can clarify that the product after this thermal decomposition is magnesium oxide. Now from our results we should be able to determine that magnesium carbonate through thermal decomposition has been broken down to produce magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. From this result, combined with the thermal decompositions of strontium, calcium and barium carbonate, we should now be able to range our group 2 metal carbonates in order of their thermal stability. As we can see from our results, the higher the group 2 metal carbonate, the less thermally stable it is. This is due to a smaller cation size. Now the group 2 metal carbonates do have some uses in industry, both magnesium and calcium carbonate can be used in indigestion remedies. Calcium carbonate is also used in the building trade as limestone and it is also used to neutralize acids within soils. Well that was the thermal decomposition of group 2 metal carbonates. I've been Simon. I'll see you again soon.